Hello everybody, my name is Michelle and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday was my 21st birthday and I wanted to jump on the bandwagon like everyone does and film a what I got for my birthday 2021 edition. <laughs> Like everyone always starts these videos off with, I am not bragging at all. I just wanted to film this for like a few reasons. Um, basically, when I started my YouTube channel, I did it to like communicate with all my friends during lockdown. And I feel like this is no different. I'm sure like a lot of my friends will want to know what I got for my birthday. So I'm just being super lazy and I'm just filming this video instead of telling each and every single one of them. And secondly, another reason that I love this channel is that it's kind of like a reel of memories so I can't wait to look back in the future and to watch this video back and remember how much time, energy and thought went into all of these gifts. Um, so yeah I'm just so grateful to everyone who got me a gift, who messaged me, who just like thought about me on my birthday and wished me well. Um, thank you so much to everyone. So I don't even know where to start as you can see. I was so spoiled, there are so many amazing presents, this is definitely a birthday I will never forget for many different reasons, um, but I'm going to start with what my amazing friends got me, oh, I'm just so so grateful for my friends, like thank you so much, let's just get into it, I'm getting too emotional. <laughs> the first gift that I've got to show you is from my friend Chelsea. Um, so this is what the box looked like and this was such a lovely package to get because it just arrived in the post and we had no idea who it was from. So it says Kcal vegan and gluten free brownie box and then you open it out and these pretty cards just fell out. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks absolutely delicious and I can't wait to eat every single one of them. Yeah, it's just layers and layers of gluten-free brownies. Um, we've got like raspberry flavour, chocolate flavour. And it looks like caramel and nuts at the bottom, which looks absolutely delicious. So yeah, thank you so much, Charles. And it was so thoughtful. Oh. So I feel like we can't talk about Chelsea without talking about Faye. These are two of my best friends who I lived with last year and we just had the best time ever. Um, Faye actually lives in Liverpool as well and you can imagine my surprise when I got a phone call uh, about 9 o'clock last night and Faye was like, are you home? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, um, come outside. One of, my, one of my best friends, Faye, just phoned me and said that she's outside. Where is she? Hello! I'm vlogging! Can you be in my vlog? Sure. She came to see me to bring me my presents on my birthday which was so lovely and it just really went that extra mile to prove that she was obviously thinking of me and yeah um, I just obviously I got to see one of my best friends on my birthday which was a gift in itself as well so let me show you what she got me. So firstly she got me these flowers over here. I have accumulated so many flowers um, I don't even know if you guys can see the roses at the back as well. I love love flowers so I'm just so filled with joy that so many people got me flowers. Um, I love arranging the flowers and looking at them, smelling them, everything so thank you for my flowers. So the next thing that Faye got me is these amazing cupcakes that she got her sisters to bake. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So these beautiful gluten-free cupcakes, her sisters actually run a Instagram for their baking business and it's called And Cakes Co and the stuff on there looks absolutely amazing. I've been meaning to order from them for so long and I'm actually so glad that I finally get to taste their creation and like I said they're gluten-free um, which was so kind of a fate to ask them to do this for me and yeah I'm so excited. Uh, should I try one now? I'm pretending I'm doing it for you guys but really a bit hungry. That is so good. You would never know that's gluten free. It has so much taste. It tastes like a cake. <laughs> it has this gorgeous vanilla uh, taste to it. It's so soft. It's not hard at all. That's absolutely delicious and the icing is so creamy as well. Yeah I'll definitely be ordering from Faye's sisters again and Cakes Co on Instagram make sure you go follow them and then Faye got me another thing and this is such a cute thoughtful gift 
So Faye got me a book, me and Faye both love reading and I um, I love young adult fantasy books and my favourite book as lots of people know is Six of Crows so Faye googled books similar to Six of Crows and this one kept coming up so this is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and Faye messaged me and she's like have you read it? I really hope that you haven't read it and I was like yes of course I've read it I think I've read every book that is in that category at this point um, but I was like, I'm actually so glad that you got it for me because it's one of my favourites, it's a lot of people's favourite, it is an excellent series. Mostly I read on my phone, like ebooks, um, so I don't really have a big collection of books, but the books that I do collect I like to be my favourites. So I have Six of Crows, I have Harry Potter, um, which is a bit controversial now, um, and I also want to get the Shadowhunter books, but The Cruel Prince is among my favourites as well, so I'm so glad to own it and I'll like proudly display it and definitely reread it again as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really so happy that she got me this, so thank you. So next, let's talk about what my best friend Khadija got me. So she got me a lot of things, um, and I don't know which one to start with. So the first thing that she got me was this Thomas Kincaid colouring book. This means so much to me because with a lot of these presents, it's kind of something that I've mentioned like once or twice to people. Like I can't even remember telling people about this stuff that they remember about me, which is incredible. So yeah, I must have been going off about Thomas Kincaid this one time to, um, Khadija, if you don't know who Thomas Kincaid is, they are this beautiful artist and they do a lot of Disney art and obviously I love Disney as well and I also love colouring so this is how beautiful um, the art is and then on the other page they have uh, like a outline version for you to colour in yourself and like this is just an absolute perfect gift. There's two of my favourite things combined and I love it so much. Also, we need to give a special shout out to the card that Khadija got me. Um, look at this, it's absolutely stunning. It's obviously Taylor Swift and it says you and me forevermore and it's got like gold foiling on it. It's amazing. Sticking on a Taylor Swift sort of road. The next thing that she got me, this is um, so sweet. So she sent me this link to an Etsy shop and it had a lot of Taylor Swift like merch on there and I was like oh if I get money for my birthday I will definitely buy one of those jumpers and she was like oh which one's your favourite and I was like oh probably the Ivy one and then a couple of weeks later people started asking me what do you want for your birthday and I went straight to the Etsy shop and I was like oh no the Ivy one sold out okay I guess I'll get another one then and she actually you can imagine my surprise when I opened the package and there's the Ivy jumper so she'd ordered it for me weeks ago before it sold out which makes it like even more special so this is a jumper it's this really nice green colour and it has this amazing design um, with Taylor Swift lyrics to Ivy in there and it's got a illustration of hands uh, with Ivy like entwined and then she also got me something else because she's absolutely crazy and I love this so much so obviously as you can tell I really enjoy making videos and um, I don't know documenting my life I guess and the next thing that she got me just encaptures that so much and I've always wanted one of these since I was a child and I've never gotten one because they're really expensive but she got me the Instax Mini um, and it's so pretty I'm going to take it out and show it to you. So this is it in the moon white colour and I love it, it has like a faint shimmer to it um, and it's very like minimal, like just what I like and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you a picture I took yesterday because it proves that I need a lot more practice. So this is a picture I took yesterday of me and my siblings. Um, as you can tell my sister's face is missing. <laughs> um, so I'm very sorry Kerry but yeah I absolutely love it and it's so hard not to just like take pictures 24 7 because obviously there's only like a certain amount of film. I will be buying more but I feel like that makes Polaroid pictures even more special. So yeah I love 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 this gift. Thank you so much. I want to talk about these gorgeous flowers at the back. Honestly you'll probably be able to see them more at the end of the video but these are amazing roses that Amber got me um, and she got me a lovely card as well so I want to say thank you so much to Amber. Again I love flowers so it's a perfect gift. And then lastly from my friends let's talk about this little bag. Honestly I saw this bag and I was like this has got to be a practical joke. Surely Mariam didn't buy me anything from Tiffany's. I think the cheapest thing there is like I don't even want to put a price on it because it's terrifying. Um, 
But yeah, let's just stare at the box a little bit more because that is what I did when I saw this package. And then we've got tissue paper. Even the tissue paper says Tiffany's on. It's very faint, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, and then of course, we take out the classic little blue box. I couldn't recreate the bow, guys. I'm so sorry. But this is a box. And this is just a dream come true. Like, I actually love Tiffany's as a brand. You know, you, you, we all have those brands that you just love everything that they do. And that is Tiffany's for me, but obviously I've never been able to afford anything. And it's that dream that in the future I will be able to. Um, so the fact that Mariam knows that about me and that she got me the present that she did. Um, this is another example of something that I've always, I've always admired when people wear these. And I always think to myself, oh, I wish I had them, but I genuinely don't remember ever saying that to anybody. Like, I don't remember ever telling Mariam that either. But yet, somehow, I must have said it, and she remembered, and she was crazy enough to get me them. So, next is the little blue pouch. And let's open the pouch. I'm still in shock about this. So she got me the Tiffany Love Heart earrings. I will overlay pictures um, of what it looks like close up because they're absolutely stunning and I love them so much. I've been wearing them over the last couple of days but I just put them back in the box to give you guys a big reveal. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them and I can't believe that I own them. So thank you so much, Mariam. It's the most amazing gift. Thank you. So next, this is what my sister got me. So she actually asked me what I wanted and I told her. So I asked for a Starbucks cup with a straw and that is exactly what she got me. I've been trying to drink a lot more lately and so when I wear a lot of makeup, obviously, um, I like to use a straw. So I thought this would be the best of both worlds and yeah, it's just amazing. It's pink and white and it has the Starbucks logo on and obviously a nice pink straw. So thank you, Kerry. So there's some presents that I don't actually have physically with me from my family and that is um, my uncle and my granddad both got me money which is so helpful and I can't wait to treat myself. Um, and also my other uncle, he got me a Taylor Swift jumper which is on the way. I'll insert a picture of the one that I got. It's the Fearless Taylor's Edition pullover and I'm so excited for that to come and I'm so grateful that he got that for me because it's something that I really wanted and it's so expensive so thank you. And then everything in this corner is from my nan. She really went above and beyond. I'm so grateful. So my nan got me this lovely little set from Ted Baker. So the first thing that she got me was lip balm from Ted Baker. Oh, obviously everything in this bag is from Ted Baker. And she also got me this Peony Spritz body spray. And she got me a matching body lotion. And a body souffle. So I wasn't too sure what a body souffle is. I'm still not too sure, but I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. And yeah, these all have the same scent of peony spritz. My nan also got me some of my favourite snacks. So she got me some sour sweets, some chocolate orange chocolate, and uh, some Kit Kat bunnies, which are my absolute favourite. Well, the Christmas reindeers were well, my favourite but I'm sure the bunnies will be the same, I'm sure. <laughs> this little box that she got me was so lovely as well, this is from H Samuels. So again, absolutely spoiled. Um, this is the H Samuel box and then inside is this beautiful minimal chain with a cross on. Um, so this is because obviously I'm a Christian and lately I've been trying to improve my religion I suppose. I've been reading the bible every day for Lent. We're nearly at 40 days. I'm so proud of myself um, and yeah it's been going really well. It's obviously just a part of me so I love that she got me this necklace to remind me of that. And then lastly but probably my favourite gift is this one. So I asked her for hair curlers. No that's not what they're called. What are they called? Curlers. Curlers. Okay they are called hair curlers. Rollers, that's it. I asked for some rollers because I've seen online and I really like the finished effect of rollers in other people's hair. But before I asked for them, I double checked with my hairdresser and my friend Jeannie if it would work in my hair. Um, and Jeannie assured me that they would. So I found some cheap ones on Amazon and I sent them to my nan and asked for that for my birthday. 
But um, my mum and my nan had different ideas and they also messaged Jeannie and asked what the best rollers would be and Jeannie recommended these ones so thank you to everyone involved. <laughs> so I have a heat proof glove to go with my heated rollers. So these are from Remington, They're the Pro Lux heated rollers. Um, it comes with 20 rollers and yeah, I'm so excited to try these. So if you see me with beautiful hair in my next video, you probably know why. So next, let's move on to what my parents got me. Um, they just really went above and beyond and I'm so grateful for everything. This little bag is my mum's doing, I think, and any medical students out there will understand the excitement. Um, I don't even know where to start so she kind of gave me like everything I could ever need to practice my physical exams and my OSCEs which I'm so grateful for because it's something that I do stress a little bit about. It's a lot easier to practice for your knowledge exams than OSCEs. Um, so yeah so the first thing she got me is a manual sphig and she also got me a chibi stethoscope to go with it so that I don't have to use my proper one um so yeah these just came in a set it's just plain black it's great this little box is one that i'm really excited for as well and it is a lot of tendon hammers and reflex stuff i also got this little this little plastic name badge thing so this clips onto your stethoscope so it has your name on which is cool i also got a set of otoscopes and ophthalmoscopes which is perfect because you never really get to practice them so that will make me a lot more confident going into my oscies and going into the clinical environment if i ever get asked to use them she also got me a tourniquet which i'm really excited about because i'm gonna practice finding people's veins i feel like i'm confident with the actual blood taking but the finding the veins can be really tricky so I'm going to just strap this onto all my family and practice winding their veins. And then lastly we have a bunch of tuning forks and again this is something that you can't, you can't practice a cranial nerve exam um, or a hearing exam without tuning forks so this is amazing I'm really really grateful. So my mum also got me this set so this is 21 and it's very classic. Um, it's got the key to the door at the top, it's got a glass and a picture frame, so this is lovely. I do feel like um, you can't have your 21st birthday without getting at least one key, so this is perfect. Also very very kindly, my neighbour actually dropped off some gifts for me as well, so she got me this Prosecco, it's such a fancy bottle, and she also gave me some money and a beautiful card, so thank you so much Joanne, that was so nice. My mum also bought me quite a few things for the kitchen, so the first thing she got me, which I'm actually really weirdly excited about, is this electric salt and pepper mill. Um, yeah, it's just a cool invention and weirdly enough sometimes when i grind things manually they go down my sleeve and i do not enjoy that so this is perfect like this is what i mean when i said i've been spoiled like i've just got gotten everything that could possibly make my life easier and then she also very kindly got me a crock pot i have always always wanted a crock pot or a slow cooker um i'm a big fan of tasty meals but also easy meals the problem is in uni we are not allowed them but next year i'm moving out with my closest friends and we're living in a house where we're going to be allowed crock pots so yep I'll be able to use that next year and I'm very excited and then another really really thoughtful gift that my mum got me was this travel journal um one of like my biggest goals after the pandemic is to travel more and yeah so she got me this journal so that I can keep a record of everywhere I go and how I feel about it it also has a planner in it as well um I might start planning dream holidays now just just to have that fantasy and then lastly my dad did a really amazing job of buying me all the stuff that I needed to help with my youtube channel obviously that's a big big passion of mine and he just went above and beyond he kept asking me what I would want and then he bought me a much more expensive and better version I would usually send him like the cheapest option so I really appreciate that obviously um, so the first example of this is the tripod. I can't actually show you it right now because the camera is on the tripod but I love it. It's so sturdy and it looks really cool. I will insert some clips now of what the tripod looks like. And then next he got me a spare battery which is so helpful because my camera always dies. I love this camera. I film on the Sony ZV-1 but it only has about like 45 minutes of battery life. 
So when I'm trying to film a really long video, obviously that doesn't work out, so this will be very, very helpful. Thank you. He also got me another memory card, which is absolutely amazing. This one is 256 gigabytes, which is huge. Um, so yeah, this is perfect as well, so I can film all the videos. And lastly, he got me a new microphone. So I am very, very soft-spoken. Um, I don't know if you can tell. And that is one thing that I'm kind of like insecure about on my channel. I really wish that the audio was better for you guys, and I wanted to improve that. So my dad did a lot of research and bought me a microphone to help me with that, so thank you so much. And then lastly, he got me a wireless keyboard and mouse because he recently bought me a monitor, which I guess is also a 21st birthday present. Um, and yeah, I just thought that a wireless keyboard and mouse would help me move in between my laptop and my monitor a lot easier. Um, so yeah, he got me this one from Dell. It's super sleek and very, very nice. So thank you again. So that brings me to the end of the video. Just look around all the beautiful flowers as well um, that everyone got me. These ones are from Amber. These ones are from my mum and my nan and they have 21 in the middle. And these ones are from Faye. Um, so thank you very much for my flowers guys and yeah that's the end of the video so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what I got for my 21st birthday if you want to actually see what I got up to on my 21st birthday I did vlog it so I'll leave the link below and yeah feel free to check that out and if you want to see more from me don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and yeah I hope to see you next time thank you for everything again guys if you're watching this and you know me personally and you reached out or planned anything for my birthday which I know that a lot of people did um it made me feel so loved and you put so much effort into a birthday which I thought would be like a write-off because we were in lockdown and um it's obviously not a very good situation right now so honestly thank you so so much so yeah bye